Welcome back. Well, a studio's turned into a barber shop, and all for a great cause. We've got James Healy from the Excalibur joining us, along with Mark Grazenkowski, Director of Hotel Operations for New York, New York, and Brian McMullen from McMullen's Irish Pub. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Sharon. All here in the name of braving a shave for St. Baldrick's head shaving events this weekend. And there are multiple events. Thank you so much for all showing up, and thank you for being brave enough to be the one that gets shaved on TV in front of all of our viewers this morning. So, uh, James, tell us about uh, the St. Baldrick's event. New York, New York has been doing this for quite a while. Yeah, this is a, this is the event of the year for New York, New York, and also MGM Resorts International, and it's our 11th annual. Uh, event out on the iconic Brooklyn Bridge starts at 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. It's an event for the whole family. Everyone can come out. If you want to shave, you can come right up and shave right on the spot. You can sign up ahead of time on the website. It's for kids, family. We've got nine fine Irishmen pouring the best Guinness in town. Uh, sorry, Brian. Uh, <laughs> a little competition uh, there. A little there. competition there. <laughs> uh, and it's just an event that uh, we're very excited. 2.5 million we've raised so far oh, at New York, man. New York over the last 11 years. All for children's cancer. Research yes, is that correct? It is, and it's a. You have teams. You have people that show up from their work, from schools. You have children that get sh their heads shaved, and then you have celebrities that show up too to do the head shaving. Absolutely, we'll have celebrity shavers all day long from performers out on the strip. We have the Raiderettes will be there this wow. year with us. Uh -huh. We're very excited about that and welcoming them to their new hometown. Uh, we've got Absent, we've got uh, Opium, we've got performers from all over the strip that will come out, shave heads all afternoon. Uh, it, it Again, it is just a great event and, of course, for a great cause. And you really cheer on the crowds to get the money going in the buckets. That's right. I've helped do that a little bit, but you're good at it. Well, we I have know a lot of fun. We'll pull people right out and we'll shave them right on the spot. They'll go home from Las Vegas and they'll be bald, but <laughs> well, for a good cause. Mark, tell me why you're shaving today. You said you're actually doing it for someone who's going through cancer. Yeah, absolutely. So, a dear friend of mine and former co worker, Ryan Dunn, has been battling cancer. This is his second bout. So, uh, really unfortunate, but. Uh, shaving for Ryan today, so. Good for you. Well, we're going to get you shaving. And then we're going to talk to Brian, who is also putting on a, a shaving event on Saturday. All right, go, right go for it. Let's do it. Oh, this is what it's all about. And it, I'm not a professional. <laughs> I play one on TV. Don't cry now. Are Everything you going to cry? Go. No. Okay. Have you done this before? I, I have. This is my fourth shave. Your, oh, your fourth shave. How long does it take to grow it back? About a year, you know. Okay. Just in time for next year. Yeah. Okay. Well, you actually look pretty good with less hair. I don't know if you knew that or not. Uh, Brian, tell me oh, about great. tell me about McMullen's Irish Pub. You've been doing this more than a decade now. You and your wife Lynn. What got you into it? Um, well, it's not. I, it's very difficult. My daughter passed away at two and a half years old, and uh, so it's very personal to us. In actual fact, although I don't want it to be. It is my best day of the year. Oh. Yeah, we feel the, you know, it's feel the passion from the people. We're grateful to have New York, New York, been doing it forever, and uh, very a lot of other places are doing it as well. And the most exciting thing this year is we have a couple of schools doing it on the 16th of March, and I think it's the 23rd of March, for Tita and Fesh. So that's very exciting for us all, and. Um, we hope to raise a lot of money. We, we, we think we'll raise a million dollars between us and New York, New York, and everybody else. Last year we raised 1.1. In total, we raised 8.6 and 4.9 at our place. We've over the five already. So That's because fantastic. Of, so we're excited about it. And we love the day. We certainly love that these guys do it. And it's, it's an event, and it brings tears of joy and uh, even ladies are stepping up and I mean with long locks of hair and they're crying while the shavers going the guys don't seem to mind it quite as much uh, and the ladies are doing it all for love and what, tell me about some of the emotions on stage uh, when it's uh, happening. You know by the way the ladies is being incredible we don't ever ask anybody to shave they volunteer to shave, and 25% of our people that shave are ladies. Are ladies. And that's a huge commitment. It's a huge commitment for everyone, but it's a huge commitment to do that. Um, sometimes it's unbelievable. And the um, always different stories, always different stories why they're doing it, whether that's their mother, father, brother, sister, 
I'm totally amazed and it's very emotional. It is, and I'm sure you're thinking of your daughter every yeah. time the event's yeah. going on. Yeah, unfortunately, some people say this closure never closure. And it's been over 20 years now. Oh, it's, um, yeah, it's, we do this for the, for the children, but we also do it for the families, because mm -hmm. the families go through sheer murder as well. I'm sure, yeah. absolutely. Well, we thank you for doing it. We thank, thank you for you. all the work. Yes. And let's thank see you. how you look. <laughs> there he is. All right, there, there you is. go, ladies, bald it's and great. beautiful. Now we got to raise money to shave his beard <laughs> yes. on Saturday. Let's do it. And we'll shave it. the money just flows. So if you'd like to get to either one of the events, either down to New York, New York on Saturday, or McMullen's Irish Pub, Brian Loftus and I will actually be at McMullen's on Saturday trying to get those buckets full of money. Uh, Y'all are going to do a great job. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thank you, Mark. Thank Ooh. you. We'll see you on Saturday. <laughs>